Chapter 5 The Equatorial Forest Region Introduction The equatorial forest region lies both sides of the equator. It falls in the torrid zone and is very hot and wet. When you look at the map carefully, you will find that the continents that fall in this region are South America, Africa and Southeast Asia. The countries of South America falling in this region are Colombia, Brazil and Ecuador. The African countries of Ivory Coast, Ghana, Liberia, Nigeria, Congo and Guinea lie in this region. Southeast Asian countries such as Indonesia, Malaysia and some parts of India fall in this region. Let me answer. Have you ever been to a forest on safari? Climate This region receives storic sun rays almost throughout the year and has days and nights of equal duration. It has a very high level of humidity as there is extensive evaporation of water from the rivers, ponds, seas and plants. This results into the formation of clouds which rise slowly and around 4 o'clock in the afternoon rainfall takes place accompanied by thunderstorm. This kind of rainfall is typical to the equatorial region and is known as tropical thunderstorm. This region does not have any other winter season. Fact Finder The equatorial region constitutes only around 6% of the Earth's surface and is located largely in the continents of South America, Africa, Asia and Australia. The dense forests found in this region are also known as tropical rainforests. Plant life This region has rainfall throughout of the tree. As a result, there is luxuriant growth of trees. Their period of growing fruit bearing and shedding of leaves are different and varied. So all of the trees do not shed their leaves at the same time. Hence, this type of forest is called evergreen. A unique feature of this region is that the forests are found in several layers. The trees at the lowest layer are part of the forest floor. The next layer is made of the smaller trees or shrubs and therefore is referred to as the shrub layer. The third layer is formed by the ferns, creepers, orchids and grass and is called the understory. This forest comprises vines and creepers which climb the tall trees to get the sunlight that may not penetrate the forest as obstructed by the last layer. That is the thick canopy, the topmost layer. Research and analysis Look at the Democratic Republic of the Congo map. With the help of the internet, find out the following details. A. Famous river also known as Highway of Central Africa. B. Area of the country. C. Write the name of the lakes. Wildlife The equatorial forest region provides a natural habitat for a variety of animals, birds and amphibians, several animals and birds such as monkeys, flying squirrels, flying foxes, chimpanzees, etc. Live on trees. They live in different layers of the forest. The water bodies have snakes, turtles, alligators and crocodiles. The well-known anaconda snakes live in the Amazon basin in South America. A great variety of fish are also found here. Birds and insects of various types and colors such as hummingbird, chaucons, macaws, parrots, etc. are also found here. Do you know? Some rainforest monkeys are omnivorous, eating both animals and plants. Health and wellness The most common diseases in equatorial forest region are malaria, psychostosomiasis, oncocariasis, lymphatic filariasis, tagus diseases, african tridropanosomiasis, and dengue. There are also infectious diseases that thrive in hot, humid conditions. Human life The dense forests of the region do not attract human settlements, however, a few tribes can be seen here. They led a very tough life. Malaria is a common disease in this region. Some of the tribes are nomadic. They spend their life hunting and gathering. Pygmies of the Congo, Cubas and Sumatra and Simangs of Malaysia are examples of such tribal people. The Dikes of Borneo, the Bantes of Zaire and the Amazon Indians form the farming community. The generally practice shifting cultivation. It involves clearing a piece of land by burning, growing of crops for two or two, three years and then moving to a new place. Plantation agriculture was brought here by Europeans who came to the Southeast Asian countries and Africa for trade. Under this system, crops are grown on a large scale for commercial purposes. The crop include tea, coffee, rubber and coca. Indian Heritage Connect Many tribes survive by hunting animals and gathering plant products. Kubu tribe from Sumatra is one of the oldest tribes found in the region. Many people in this region practice shifting cultivation. Find out the name of any three tribes that belong to India. 
summary, the equatorial region lies in the torrid zone and extends over both sides of the equator. It has a hot and wet climate. There is rainfall with thunderstorm every evening. There are numerous types of plants with different growing and shedding times. Trees and equatorial forests grown in different layers. These forests are full of bright and colorful animals. The tribes of the region practice food gathering, hunting and shifting agriculture. Art Integration Look at the Rocky's garden. His garden is full of coconut, banana, gulmohar and deodor trees. Based on the given picture, collect the snaps of trees and plants growing in equatorial region and paste them on a colored sheet. Exercises Creative Expression Tell your story. The Bantu people constitute the majority of the population in the Democratic Republic of Congo. They speak languages belonging to the large Bantu language groups. Imagine that you are traveling there. That means of transport would you use to travel there and once reached how would you converse with them? Cross Curricular Connect Critical Thinking Let's play a game. The equatorial forest region provides a natural habitat for various animals, birds and amphibians and circle the names of the animal in the word grid. Logical Decision Making Observe both the pictures and discuss the following questions. A. Out of the two pictures, which one belongs to the equatorial forest region? B. Imagine you are supposed to visit the equatorial forest region. Which place would you choose and why? Let's practice. A. Write short answers to the given questions. 1. Name the different tribes living in the equatorial forest. 2. Name the crops grown on the plantation farms. 3. Which animals are found in the equatorial forest region? B. Write long answers for the given questions. 1. Discuss the location of the equatorial forest region. 2. Why do you think the climate is hot and wet in the equatorial forest region? 3. Describe in brief the structure of the equatorial forest. C. Fill in the blanks. 1. The equatorial forest region does not have any season. 2. The farmers of equatorial region generally practice dash cultivation. 3. The tallest trees of the rainforest form a dash. 4. A nomadic tribe of the equatorial forest region is the dash of Malaysia. 5. The equatorial forest lies in the dash zone. D. Multiple choice questions. 1. Sea Mangs live in dash. 1. Malaysia. 2. Sumatra. 3. Congo. 2. The tallest layer of trees in the equatorial region is called the dash layer. 1. Emergent. 2. Divergent. 3. Insurgent. 3. Equatorial areas have dash humidity all around the year. 1. High. 2. Moderate. 3. Low. E. Match the following. Column A. 1. Pygmias. 2. Dicas. 3. Plantation crops. 4. Canopy. 5. Anaconda. Column B. A. T. and rubber. B. Amazon Basin. C. Congo. D. Topmost layer. E. Borneo. F. Take the correct option. 1. The equatorial forest region gets which type of sun rays? 1. Direct. 2. Indirect. 3. Lowest. 4. Slanted. 2. How many layers of trees are there in the equatorial forest region? 1, 4, 2, 5, 3, 6, 4, 7, 3. Which tribes are found in the Congo Basin? 1, Piabmis, 2, Kubus, 3, Dyke, 4, Gons, 4. Which zone falls in the equatorial region? 1, Torrid, 2, Temperature, 3, Frigate, 4, None of these, 5. The natural environment of an animal or plant is dash. 1. Forest. 2. Rainforest. 3. Habitat. 4. Shed. Conceptual Understanding Find out the details about the rainforest of Africa. Make a list of the trees found there and also the animals which have made it their home. Make a chart and show it to your class teacher. Writing Skills Rohit was playing in the park. Suddenly, he saw few people were cutting trees. He felt terrible and tried to stop them, but no one listened to him. He decided to do something. He asked his friend what he could do. His friend replied that he could write a letter to the authorities and complain about it. Help Rohit to write a letter to the head of the municipal corporation complaining about the name. Letter to the head of municipal department. Subject respected sir, madam.